Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. So far in this course, we've been taking predominantly a good look at how to work with text and paragraphs in our documents. So in this section, it's time to switch gears a little bit and focus on how we can start to make our documents look a little bit more interesting. Currently, we're working in our comprehensive guide to coffee, and we don't really have a great deal going on here. We've got just some plain text. We haven't started to style this up at all. The document looks pretty boring and it's actually quite hard to read. It's very hard to determine what exactly is a heading or a subheading in this particular document. So we're going to start the process of changing that. And the first thing we're going to do is talk about themes. Now, I mentioned all the way at the beginning of this course that when you create a new blank document in Word, it's automatically assigned a default theme. Now, if you're wondering what a theme is, it's basically the look and feel of your document. A theme controls things like the colors that you use in a document, the fonts that are in use, and even the effects that you can apply in a document. Now you'll find themes on the design ribbon. And notice here, the first drop down is themes. So currently I have the default theme selected, which is just this one here, the office theme. And with this theme, as I mentioned, we get a specific set of theme colors, fonts, and effects. What you might have noticed is that if you're, for example, trying to change the color of this title just here, if we go to the Home tab, when we click the Font Color dropdown, notice we have a palette called Theme Colors. So all of the colors that you see in this section are basically defined by the theme that you're using. So in this case, I'm using the office theme, and these are the colors that are part of that theme. But what about if I don't like that palette of colors? Maybe I want something completely different. Well, this is where I could change the theme that I'm using. So if we jump up to design, click the drop down next to themes, we have all of these other themes in this theme gallery. We can create our own custom themes as well, which we're not going to get onto in this particular lesson. Let's start by applying some of these other themes so you can see the difference. So if I hover my mouse over any of these themes, notice that the live preview is showing me what that's going to look like in this document. Now, because I don't have any colors in this document, I just have text. The only thing you can really see that's changing in this document is the font that's in use. So if I hover over facet, I get a different type of font. If I hover over gallery, I get a different type of font again, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the color of this title. So let's use our mini toolbar for this as it's right there. I'm going to choose one of my theme colors. So let's go for this blue. So now when I hover over different themes, you should notice that the color changes as well. So it's showing me what that title is going to look like, not only in the font that belongs to this specific theme, but also with regards to color. So just be aware of that. Now, what about if I change this title to one of the standard colors? So I'm not going to be using a theme color. Let's change it to red and now see what happens when we hover over these different themes. Notice that whilst the font is changing, the color of that heading is staying as red. Now, why is that? Well, themes only affect items that already have another theme applied to them. So if I change the color to a standard color as opposed to a theme color, it's always going to use that standard color. You need to make sure that you have selected a theme color if you want that to change. The same thing could be said of font that we're using. If I change this first paragraph to let's go for let's go for something crazy. Let's go for Algerian. Again, if I go back to themes, it's going to change the rest of the font and the colors, but it's not going to change that font in the first paragraph because I've manually applied my own font that isn't part of the theme. Now, I don't like that font, so let's control Z to take it back. So just be aware of how applying a theme affects different parts of your document. Now we're going to choose one of these other themes. Let's go for Ion Boardroom because that one really stands out. 
Now that I'm using a different theme, if I was to try and select a different font color for this title, notice that the theme colors in that gallery, in that group, have now changed to match the theme that I'm using. And I can go in and choose something completely different. Now, what about if I like this theme? Maybe I like the font, but I don't particularly like the colors that are in use in this theme. Well, this is where we can start to customize how our theme looks. If we go all the way over to the colors drop down, I have a choice of different palettes. So I can effectively still use this theme, but I can choose to use a different color palette. So let's go for, let's go for marquee down here everything updates. And now if I try and change that font color, I'm getting a completely different set of colors, but the actual font style is still being taken from the theme. Maybe I also want to change the font. Again, we have a fonts drop down. I can go through and I can change this to something completely different. So maybe I want to go for Cambria throughout this document. I can simply select that different font. So effectively what I've done there is I've started with the theme that I've selected from the drop down, but then I've customized it to use a different color palette and also different fonts. What I could then do is if I wanted to, I could save the current theme because I've changed it. So if I save this as something else, I'm going to call this Deb's coffee theme. Notice it jumps to a specific theme folder. So this is very similar to when we're saving a template. You want to make sure that you do save any custom themes into the default templates folder. Let's click on save. And now that theme is going to be available in this custom group for me to apply to my documents. Even if I create a new document, so control N and let's just type in some junk text. I'll say three paragraphs of four lines. If I go back to design, I can then apply my coffee theme. So really nice and straightforward. Now I don't need this document, so let's control W to close that down. And I'm going to say don't save. Another thing to notice is that when you choose a theme in this document formatting group, we get some inbuilt document formatting styles that we can apply. So if I click the drop down here, maybe if I choose this one, notice that it hasn't really had any effect on my document. Now, why is that? Well, this is related to word styles again. If we take a look at this thumbnail, when I apply this document formatting, it should change anything that's a title in my document to this larger font. Anything that's a heading one is going to show like this, and then I have my text. Now, I haven't applied heading styles to my document. Hence why it's not really showing my title and my heading one the way it's represented in this thumbnail. And I could pick any of these and it's not going to change. These truly work when you have heading styles applied in your document. And we're going to be talking about this a lot in a couple of sections time. Once we've applied heading styles to our document, we can then come back and apply one of these and you'll see it take effect. The final thing that you can customize in a theme is the effects that are in use. So if I was to add maybe shapes to this particular document, I can choose if I want to have various different effects applied to those shapes. So colors, fonts, and effects are all parts of the theme that you have selected. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.